Uh, you said he talked about magic and... what? Domesticated zombies? He talked about a group of people who don't get infected. No, 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 Even if they're bitten. No, 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 no. Delirious people will say anything. He was holding this map when we brought him in. Whoa. Th th this looks like... A way out of Haran. Crane, we're running out of Antizin. We have to explore every possibility. We can't wait any longer. Stay away! Stay away! You don't understand. The mother... The mother... Lena, do you copy? Crane, damn it. You're breaking up. Yeah, listen, your one-eyed delirious patient, he was telling the truth. There is a way out. Maybe what he said about people who don't turn is true. He died this morning, Kyle. The fever got him. You're on your own, I'm afraid. Lena? Lena! Yeah, it's fucking mountains. This looks occupied, more or less. What do you want? I need to talk to someone in charge. I'm from Haran. Oh, you a smuggler? 
You work for the crook, huh? Look, I, I don't know anything about any smuggling, pal. I'm here just... I need some help. As for Jasir, but understand this. If you steal anything, you lose your hands. I've got my eye on you, stranger. Hi, excuse me. I don't know anything. Look, could you just tell me where to find someone who does know something? Look for Jazir. He'll be inside the bar. Need something? Are you the one in charge? I need some help. Talk to Jazir. I forbid it! Father, please! Can't we talk no, about this? No, no! End of discussion! Fine! Fine! Esky! Wait! Esky! I don't mean to interrupt. I'm looking for Jazir. I am Jazir. But if you want food, we have only bread. No, no, I, I don't need food. Listen, I'm from Haran, and I've come because I've heard that there are people here who are immune to the virus, that they don't turn, even if they get bitten. Oh. And who told you this? Uh, a dead man, I'm sorry to say. You might as well keep listening to him. I'll tell you no more than he. Fucking hell, why won't anybody help me? The virus is all over the city. People are dying. And yet, you still live. Take some bread, my friend, and go back to Haran. No one wants you here. Lena, well, you know, this is Crane. Do you copy? Damn it, what a fucking wasteland. Hey, yeah, you. Come here. Come on, come closer. I won't bite you. Don't worry. I ain't like the rest of these loonies. Yeah, I'm talking about you, you nut jobs. So you're not one of them? Then why aren't they trying to run you off? Because I sell more shit than just bread. My name's Khan, by the way. Kyle Crane. Hey, you're from Haran, right? Bet you ran into my optically challenged buddy. You mean the guy with an eye missing? Yeah, that's the one. My boy, Kurt. How's he doing? Oh, uh, he, uh... Yeah, he, he didn't make it. Well... It's a damn shame, but can't say I'm surprised. Maybe you can help me. Kurt said the people out here are immune to the virus. You know anything about that? Uh, now that you mention it, I don't remember any of the locals actually turning. Fucking wackos, they're in a damn cult, led by some woman they called the mother. Used to be just a harmless local tradition, you know? They weren't serious about it. Well, they're goddamn serious these days. Ever since the outbreak, they scribble symbols everywhere, do these fucking rituals. I think they even pray to her. Hey, but what about this whole not turning thing? They on Antizen or what? Listen, I'm short a man now. And since I'm an entrepreneur, let's do business. Partner up, you and me. Buying anything, friend? Freaks. What kind of partnership you have in mind? Well, you need some information, and thanks to Kurt getting himself deceased, I need a driver with brains. I can show you something that might help you out, but we'll need to get some wheels first. You want a vehicle out here? Where am I supposed to find that? I'd look around the nearest farm, I were you. And hey, be discreet about it, all right? Forgot to tell me this? Well, they weren't important at the moment. Fucking fleas, you just can't get rid of them. No structure, no balls, no knack for business. <laughs> Sounds like we're off to a good start. Ah, 
Don't be a drama queen. You can handle them. Listen, I gotta deal with some customers. Just give me a sign once you got the car. Con, I got the ride. Con, are you there? Con. You're looking for Khan? He's gone. I guess they finally asked him to leave. Oh, asked him to leave, huh? And what, at gunpoint? And who's they? They finally did what my father should have done a long time ago. And it suddenly got really nice and quiet around here, didn't it? You didn't answer my question. Of course I didn't. You're here for the same reason he was. Same reason the bandits won't leave us alone. And we're supposed to trust you? There's got to be something I can do to convince you. You don't have to convince me. I don't care. Show everyone else you're here to give, not just to take. And I'm Eski, by the way. Kyle Crane, Eski. Can you give me some hints at least? W w what do you guys need? I suppose I could help you out. Just remember, you'll have to return the favor one day. You got it. The groundwaters got polluted a while back. Imagine what would happen if you got our water running again. I assume there is a way to do this? Yes, there is. But it's in banded territory. Several men who volunteered to go there, well, they never came back. So I wouldn't recommend it. Unless you have a death wish. If you do, then just follow the pipeline.
over here, friend. Every new customer is a blessing. You're actually selling something out here? Water. Crystal clear. No diarrhea afterwards. Tastes as if an angel stepped on your tongue, huh? One gallon for ten pounds of food. We accept gold as well. Ten pounds of food for water? We're gonna start charging for air, too? Oh, we got us a haggler. Look down there, punk. See that? That's Roscoe. We turn hagglers over to him. Still want to haggle, huh? Tell you what, though. I might let you trade your ride for some water. Oh, fuck you, asshole. So be it. All right, boys. Fuck him. Jazir sent me. Or what Eski did. You're one of the three who got lost? The only one left. I am Ali. They got thrown to that... that beast. Okay, listen, Ali, this place has to be at least sort of operational. Otherwise, the bandits wouldn't have had any water. The bandits have water here, but there is none at the farm. Perhaps we can redirect it. Cross your fingers. 
Did that right. In a couple of minutes, there'll be water at the farm again. Station. The pipeline ends here. They look for the main valve, goddammit! Are oh, these fucking alarm box shut up?
Lee, I got it. But the place was already flooded, so now what? We just we just wait? Yes. Now it should just be a matter of time. So we're good? We're better than good. I think you just saved all our asses. Get back to the farm. I'll tell Jasir you're all right. You know, for a stranger. Thank you, Kaya. I guess one man with a death wish can be a great help to those who just want to live in peace. I don't have a death wish. I just can't stand bullies. Well, in any case, you really did something spectacular for the people here. Try talking with my father now. I bet his tune will change. Thanks, Eski. No, thank you. Miracle. It's a bad You don't even know what you just did for yeah. us. Our wells have been polluted for the last month, and people were getting sicker and sicker. Maybe I was wrong about you, stranger. So, any chance you'll answer my question now? About that medicine? Follow me, please. Vizier and Haran, we're running out of Antizen. I'm looking for anything that could save my friends. If you have anything... Yes, stranger, we do. We have our faith and our prayers to the Mother. Faith? Uh, okay, I, I mean no disrespect, but you, you're telling me that prayers keep you from turning? That's your problem. You lack faith, just like the other outsiders. We believe in the Mother, and she protects us. We have no need of... Antonsen, or whatever you said. Okay, okay, well, is there any way I could maybe speak with this mother? She is sacred. She speaks only with those known as the faceless. But maybe, maybe you could get them to notice you. If you do enough good for our community. At this point, I'll take anything. So what kind of good are you looking for? What, what needs to be done around here? You're serious about this? <laughs> All right, then. Me, I take care of this farm, and my friend Bilal keeps the gas station near town safe. Look around. You'll find more work than any one man could handle. Can you hear me? Lena? Crane, are you okay? What's going on? You've got us all worried. I'm fine, don't worry. But listen, your patient was right. There's this 
There's this group here, and all of its members seem to be immune to the virus. Immune? How is that possible? I don't know. They're protected by some local shaman type called the Mother. Only communicates through her priests. I'll try to get in touch with them, but these people don't trust outsiders for shit. Keep trying, but be careful. Excuse me, you, uh, you the oh, owner no. here? Oh, no, no, no! Hey, hey, Nori, it's all right, buddy. Here you go. I'm Bilal. Uh, that's Nori, my brother. Kyle Crane. Pleasure to... Uh, oh, <laughs> sorry. So, what can I do for you, Kyle? Well, I, I heard the locals might need a hand with a few things. Oh, yeah, Jazir told me you'd come. I heard all about you. Listen, I, I, I'm just trying to help the people back in the city. Hey, helping the infected? You don't have to explain that to me. I get it. My bro got bitten about two months ago. Wait, two months? And he, and he hasn't turned? I couldn't believe it either, but hey, there he is, still in working order, unlike this wreck. Just take a look at the board over there. Jasir ain't lying. We could use plenty of help. And man, I'm envious of your ride. It's the only working vehicle I've seen for a while. Tell you what, if you bring it back here and let me look inside from time to time, I'll give it some tuning up, make it even sweeter. <laughs> if you want to be helpful in the long run, take good care of it. I'm not exactly a mechanic. Then it's a good thing you're talking to me. Here's what you do. It'll be a long drive, but I bet my left hand it'll be worth it. There's a Silas truck stranded on a highway. Go give it a once over, and if you find any useful parts, bring them to me. be offline. So what do I have to do? First off, get this fuse to Ali at the plant. He can't do shit without it. Once you get the fuse to him, we'll get the power back. If he can keep from electrocuting himself, I mean. Guy thinks safety precautions are for pussies. I did see a guy trying to dig a broken light bulb out of the socket with a steel screwdriver while the power was on. <laughs> yep. Sounds like Ali. He means well anyway. So, listen friend, two things need to happen. One, like I said, get him this fuse. Two, we need a working insulator. Or the fuse blows as soon as he flips the switch. He says the old ones will hold, but fuck me if I believe him.
Ooh.
It isn't Kyle Crane. Great to see you. And this? This is the Mother's blessing. He's one of the faceless. Uh, great, I need to ask him something. Don't you dare disturb him. His prayers are what's protecting us, don't you understand? Okay, okay, I won't bother him, but... I do have something for you. Bilal sends his best. That bastard. So that's it? You gonna get the power running? Need anything else? Actually, yes. Since you offered, when this ancient piece of shit broke down, the main transfer switch must have thrown. It'll need resetting. Where is it? Inside the dam. And I'm pretty much done here, so... Well, the faster you get to it, the better. Mother is life. Mother will help us. Mother is good. Mother is life. Mother is good. Mother is life. simple. <laughs> Ali, I'm inside. Throw the switch now. Great. But it didn't work, man. Try to find the main transfer switch. It must be somewhere in there. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, I think you're safe now. Jesus, what happened? I don't know. He just said, we gotta go now, and let me hear. Told me to get inside and lock the door. He's dead now. May the mother bless his soul. Let's go, Ali. You said you needed to finish something out there, right? Yeah, I was almost done. Just need to flip some switches. Well, I'll stand guard while you're doing it. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. The sooner we're done with this, the better. Just a little more time. back on for good? It's back on for now, but this old rusty broken-ass equipment? <laughs> I make you no promises. All right, fair enough. I'll be heading out then. You coming? Nah. This place is safe now, right? I'll just hang out here. Observe for a while. Make sure it doesn't all break down the moment my back is turned.
fast as you can. It's important. Oh, so you're one of the faceless. Will you let me speak to the mother? You think she would speak with a stranger? No, but you are on the right path if you wish to join our ranks. Be patient. What's your name? Kyle Crane. You have a long road ahead of you, Kyle Crane. Do not stray from it. And may this help you in your struggle. That's all we have to say to you for now. You can leave now, newcomer.
Listen, please. Oh, Christ. Shit. O okay, I'm listening. There, in there, that's my child. Don't, don't let him die of hunger. Don't let him suffer. Nice crossbow. You boys hunting something? Yeah, a goddamn monster that's been stealing our food. I shot it, but it ran and hid in this cave. Did you not see it in there? Probably for the best, since it was wounded and all. Jazeer, those bandits who took over Erkan's farm. Aren't you afraid they're gonna target you guys next? Here we can handle them, but we're not soldiers. I won't send people to die out there. Well, your set of skills might come in handy in this situation. Just talk to Eski. She'll explain the kind of scum you'll be dealing with. And maybe try to find Polat too. He used to work at Erkan's farm. Maybe he'll have something useful to tell you. Polar, I'm thinking about heading to Erkan's farm. You're crazy, mister. That's suicide. Hey, let me be the judge of that. Besides, the bandits might target this place next. 
Let them fucking try. After what they did to that girl, there won't be no mercy. Well, if you feel that way, then why wait? Why not take revenge right now? Don't get all high and mighty with me, mister. We are angry, true, but we are not crazy. You want to get yourself killed? I think I can handle some thugs with guns. I heard you might be able to help me. Jazir said you worked at that farm? Work there I did, true. If you really do want to go there, follow the wall and go east of the entrance. There's a hole in that high wall. You could probably use it to sneak in. Hey, Eski, I've... Oh. That's, uh... That's Erkan's daughter, right? No. That's not her. That's what's left of her. She was the happiest person I'd ever known, but now... I'm sorry, but... She's, uh... Conscious, right? Conscious, yes. But the longer she lies there, the more I feel like she just doesn't want to live anymore. When she was still speaking, she told me they hurt her. And her mother. They shot her brother in the face, Kyle. Made her watch. All right, I'll take care of it. They won't hurt anyone else. Yeah, of course. Sorry. I just think I've heard it too many times before.
Where's Archon? Khan. Just kill me. Why? How could they? Air Khan, is that you? Coward. Kill me. Hey, Air Khan. What could I do? Hey, you're safe, man. Get a grip. Your daughter's alive. Shoot me, please. I want to join them. Aircon, your daughter is alive. She's at Jazir's farm. She needs you. Coward. For fuck's sake. Jazir, are you there? Look, I don't know how this happened, but Aircon is alive. He's a wreck, though. Her cat's alive? And you really did get rid of those bandits? Listen, he doesn't know me, and I can't get through to him. He's in deep shock. But the farm's clear, so I don't know. Maybe you could ask your guys to bring him back. Of course, of course. We'll take care of it. Thank you. Just as I promised. The bandits are no threat now. Thank you. You did more for her than anyone else in this godforsaken place. Look, Eski, I... I've seen a lot. The only thing I can tell you is eventually it... it will start to hurt a little less. Don't patronize me, Kyle. You think she's the only friend I've lost since the outbreak? It's terrible. I'm getting so numb it almost doesn't hurt anymore. At least this one will get her father back. Erkan's alive. They'll bring him here. Oh? He survived? Well, I guess she'd have been a little bit happier if only she'd heard that. Though... Though what? N nothing much. Just a, a thought. I just wonder why, before, she told me what happened to everyone else, but didn't say a word about him. What's the deal with this racing stuff? I've seen some weird posters. Oh, man. Uh, I miss a good engine's roar more than running water these days. I was a champion once, you know? Five times, back to back. But hey, you just gave me a brilliant idea. Listen, I'm going fucking insane in this place. Everyone's depressed all the damn time. Let's have fun for once, huh? What do you mean? Let's set some engines on fire, man. I have it all figured out. You'll be the next champion. Well, I guess a little distraction would be welcome. Right. So, remember to fuel and repair your ride, and then just drive to the beach outside town. 
And give me a sign when you're near the pizza place, okay?
And? How was it? I could get used to that. Is there any other tracks I could try out? Hell yeah, man. Just look at those posters. They're at the starting points of different races we had here. I want all of them. So when you find one, give me a shot. And I'll work the stopwatch. We'll make a champion out of you in no time. And for beating me, I'll give you a ride a new paint shop. You gotta admit, she could use one. Jazeera, what's wrong? What's, what's going on? We don't have a clue. Everything seemed all right, and suddenly people started feeling sick. I hope you'd know something about it. Well, I don't, but I'll see if I can figure out what's going on. up in the mountains. Oh, please. You've been here this whole fucking time. I ain't lying. What the hell? What's going on? Oh, my God. What's going on? Don't hurt me. I give up. I give up. Turn off that flashlight. All right. 
All right, Chief. You got it. But I've seen this uniform before. You're what's left of Rise's gang, huh? We're... I, I don't know. Exactly. They didn't tell me. I just joined. Quit lying, asshole. What are you fuckers doing out here? I don't know. I don't know! You understand, I'm a hair away from killing you, right? Okay. Okay. I'll talk. But all I know is, the boss had a plan. Poison the water supply, loot everybody. He brought some corpses, threw them in the water. Jesus, you sick bastards. Who's your boss? Where is he? I don't know. I, I told you, I just joined. I didn't want to do it. I swear. Yeah, just following orders? Let's find out what Jazeera has to say about that. See if he's in the mood to hear excuses. Come on, Chief. Don't do it. They'll fucking lynch me. I'm not gonna die. Not like that. Here, I'm at the pumping station. Send some people here ASAP. And don't let anyone drink this water. What happened? Some bandits threw corpses into the water. Clean out the bodies and the water should clear up again. You got that? Of course. Thank you. We'll take care of it as soon as possible. What the hell did they do to you? I had been shown the end of my ways. They had opened my eyes to the truth, to the light. Holy shit. Talk about drinking the Kool-Aid.
Mother, blessed by the sun, we praise you. Mother, embraced by the wind, we trust you. Mother, radiant with grace, come to us. Children of the sun, accept the mother's gift and stay true to her path. For your suffering, the mother thanks you. What, what is this? So, so the biter that didn't attack me, I, I dreamed that? The biter was real, but don't try it again. You're not protected by Mother's aura anymore. However, your soul and blood have been cleaned. Your resistance to the virus will last as long as you stay on the right path. Put your faith in the Mother. Continue what you started, and your questions shall be answered. We will contact you. Lena? Come on, come on, Lena! Kyle! Kyle! Lena, thank God. Listen, listen to me. I don't know how long it'll last, but I'm immune. I saw her, the, the mother. She spoke to me. I was... I was in like a, like a trance, and the, the zombies, they didn't attack me. Lena? Hello? Yeah, I watched it go down. 
It's worth checking for survivors. It could be someone from outside the quarantine. Here, there was one cryptic message. I didn't want to get into details over the radio. One of the men from town just died from the water poisoning. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yes, we all were. He was military. And he asked us to give away all of his possessions. The last thing we have left is this card. I don't know what its purpose is. Yeah, it's a military key card. I mean, if it's properly authorized, it could open any military electronic lock. Well then, here, you take it. Maybe it'll help you. Besides, we wouldn't even know what to look for. Yeah, thanks, Jazir. We all saw it. The mother accepted you into the following. So we should accept you into our community too. You are welcome now among the children of the sun. Thank you, Jazir. Huh. Hey, Jazir, who drew this? Oh, that's not important. The kid keeps drawing them. I keep throwing them away. Well, but what's it about? Something the kids hung up on. His mother took a job in Haran before the outbreak. Left him with his grandparents. She was supposed to send him a gift, I guess. But you know what happened. It doesn't matter. Just toss it. So this whole time the kid's been waiting on a present? Christ. Sad.
Great. Not what I'm looking for. Uh, so, the kid's package isn't here. Maybe it was already out for delivery. This looks like a clue.
Hey, Jazir. I got that kid's present. Can you get it to him? You risked your life to make a child happy. All I can say is, thank you. Ah, Mr. Crane, isn't it? You're really something, you know that. Never seen a man earn the trust of the children as fast as you did. They've kept an understandably low profile ever since the government banned all illegal religious sects in our country. Banned? But why? There was a massacre 50 years ago. It was chaos after that. We had to act fast, and we had no idea what should be done. It was in politics back then, but not corrupt. Not corrupt. I voted against the madness, but nobody listened. They laughed at me, blamed the children, but I knew they were wrong. My mother grew up here and never had a bad word to say about the children. After I lost everything, I came to this place and helped them start a preservation society of sorts. They kept their rituals a secret, didn't accept anyone from the outside. And for a long time I felt betrayed, Mr. Crane. I helped them survive, and they shut their doors to me. How could they? They didn't accept you into the, uh, the group? No. I'm sure you can imagine how betrayed I felt. But now, now that the government has failed to protect its people, the children have reappeared stronger than ever before. And after all those years, they didn't forget about me, Mr. Crane. I'm well fed, clothed, and safe. They provide me with everything I might need. I wish I could say all's well that ends well. I just hope we all live long enough to see the end of this madness. Ilum, that's you? Uh, here, brought you something from the post office. Are you kidding? That's great. Wow. For fuck's sake, you brought me my power bill. Well, don't get mad at me. I don't read other people's mail. I didn't know what it was. Ah, fuck it. It's not like I'm gonna pay it. Uh, excuse me, Sarah. I found something for you at the post office. Are you serious? I mean, thank you, but why did you bring this all the way here? I just thought it might be important. Wow. For a moment there, I felt like... like everything was normal again. Like this nightmare never happened. Thank you. Truly. Hey, no problem. Take care. Jazeera, what's this about a weapons collection? Ah, yes. It's something I've wanted to take care of for a while now. There was this man, Adam, who lived in town. A bit eccentric, but everyone liked him. Especially when he got drunk. Well, he had a huge collection of weapons, famous for it. 
and he was a good shot with his precious revolvers. But then, when he started getting older, he got paranoid that someone was going to steal them. And the rumor is, when he died, his house turned up completely empty. No weapons anywhere. Okay, but how does this saber fit into the picture? Ah, Adam was crafty. Years ago, he got hold of my grandfather's saber, and nothing I could do would persuade him to give it back. I just hope if he hid his other weapons, that saber is among them.
looking for. Seems like I've seen a hill rising from the water. Huh. Guess I have to head into the cemetery. At night. Great. Wishing well inside a cave that's hidden in plain sight. Well, that's clear as mud. Okay, so I need a place to watch the sea from way up high. The lighthouse? Not much of a hint. Not helpful.
I got a present for you, Jazeer. I can't believe it. You really found it. You know, it took some doing. Hey, listen, if this thing is so important to you, how come you let Adam get his hands on it? Uh, that's a long story, and one that I'm not really proud of. Let's just say that I got careless one day, but now I have it back. Thank you. Oh, come on, don't leave me hanging like that, Jazeer. What happened? I would rather not talk about it. It can't be that bad. What, what was it, like a dare or something? Oh, was there a woman involved? <sighs> a woman. And a chicken. Chicken? This was five years ago. Esgi's mother had been gone for 18 months, and I was getting lonely. And there was a widow here in town. She liked chickens. Wait, what, like fried? No, she kept them as pets. And Adam had this spectacular rooster and a weakness for cards. Wait, Jazeera, are you saying you lost your grandfather's sword in a card game over a chicken? You might remember, boy, that I said I wasn't proud of this. Well, what happened to the widow? What do you think happened? Adam had the rooster and won my grandfather's saber. The widow married him. Jazeer, what's up? Son, I know you have a lot on your mind, but I need to ask you a personal favor. That's your thing, what do you need? I hate to ask, but I won't stand a chance out there. It's about my daughter. I think she's run away from home. Eski, she ran away, why? Good question. I've never been able to guess what's going on in that crazy head of hers. Okay, well, do you have any idea where she might have gone? The only place I can think of would be Ozan's house. They were close. Ah, uh, boyfriend, huh? That's what you guys were fighting about when I first got here? That little prick. He never worked a day in his life. No respect for his elders. Always with an idiot smile and that damn cap worn backwards. Relax, I'll look for her, don't worry. Where does this Ozan live? He lives on a farm that's pretty close to Oasis. And thank you. I'm sorry for asking this, just if you find her, tell her to come home, please.
The infected got into Ozan's place. He's dead. Is Eski there? Is she alright? No, there's no sign of her. Another girl here, though, who didn't make it. I'll, I'll keep looking. Don't worry, Jazir. I'm glad to see both of you alive. What are you doing here? How did you get through that hell? Well, I could ask you the same thing. What were you guys thinking? There were only a couple of biters wandering around when we got here. Yeah, but then some bandits showed up and started shooting. Next thing we knew, the place was flooded with undead. Oh yeah, well, it's time to head back. Your dad's worried sick about you. Huh? We're not going back. Forget it, Kyle. This isn't a decision my father gets to make. Eski, Jesus, I, I knew you were strong-willed, but I didn't think you were crazy. We're going to Haran, Dara and me. We want our own lives. But listen to me, Haran is just as big a death trap as this place. I'm not going to live the rest of my life chained to my father's leg like a fucking dog. No, you can't- Kyle, please! I told you. I'd ask you for a favor someday. This is the day. I need you to help us. We know that it's dangerous in Haran, but this place is killing us. You just got here. Imagine living here. Imagine living among those people. How sick of it you'd get. There's a tunnel not far from here, a path into the city. That's where we're going. All right, all right, but I need to check that tunnel first. Now promise me you won't set foot out of this trailer till I tell you it's safe. We promise, Kyle. Thank you. Thank you so much.
Esky, it's Crane. You know that path into the city you were gonna use? It was filled with volatiles. Holy shit. So are they gone now? Yeah, I cleared them out. It should be safe for you. Wow. Thank you. We're packed and ready to go. Good. Contact me once you're safe in the tunnel, okay? I won't tell your old man anything for a while in case you've changed your mind. We're not changing our minds. But yes, I'll call you. Been what they carried off. What the hell happened here? Are you there? A strange phenomenon doesn't even come close. What do you mean, brother? I mean, there was this huge ass demolisher just standing there in the field, didn't even notice me. And this weird mist, too, like what you guys had at the ceremony. Oh, well, that's an interesting development. Brother, I can't really. Tell you right now, Hunt. Meet me at Jussie's farm. Soon, I believe you are ready. <sighs> It's good to see you again, brother. This time, though, I fear I carry some bad news for you. Yeah, well, I'm used to that by now. What's going on here? Kyle, you already knew, didn't you? People not getting infected, that it's just smoke and mirrors. It is the smoke, literally. Our mother found a way to fight the sickness using a certain, let's call it an elixir. You have seen it working with your own eyes. So you do have a cure? Would you call a bandage on an open wound a cure? No. What we have right now is just a temporary solution. We are working on a certain curative project, one with more permanence. But we need time, and we need peace to last for just a bit longer. Now let me guess, you're running out of this elixir. Unfortunately, yes. That's why I asked you to come here. I want to offer you a deal. Find us more of it, and a fair portion will be yours. The mother will teach you how to use it. You'll be able to return to Haran with your prize, or perhaps you'll choose to stay with us. It seems like you've got an idea of where to look for this stuff. A lot of our brothers were out searching for it, and recently we lost contact with three of them. 
They were supposed to check a certain cave. You're seeing the mist. Cannot be a coincidence. It must have been spillage. Seems that someone found the elixir and ran away with it. All right. So check out the cave. Got it. Farewell, brother. I hope the news you bring back is good. Listen good while this damn thing works. I know what's going on. They have something a hundred times better than Antizen. The good news, they'll share it with me. The bad news, I need to find it. Now, I know the clock's ticking, but I can't let go of this yet. It's the best chance for all of us. I understand, Kyle, but please, please hurry. Run out of Antizen. More reason for me to get this done. Keep your fingers crossed. That's one of them. Okay, second one's dead too, no surprise there. Holy fuck, Rises men? are undamaged. All right, then where are they? Are you there? I'm at the cave you mentioned, and I found two of your brothers dead. I also heard a distress call. It mentioned some goods that aren't here. So they were stolen. All right. Please keep investigating. We'll try to gather some information about the third brother. Listen, be on the lookout for orange uniforms, or, or a symbol, three horizontal stripes. Excuse me? The bandits in here. These are Rises thugs. They're worse than the undead. What happened in Haran? That's mostly their fault. Oh, I see. 
Thank you, Kyle. I'm sure that information will prove useful. out if necessary, right? Yes, please. The mother would very much like this man to finish what he started. Okay, who is it? His name is Attila. He's an ethnographer, working in the mother's mansion. It's that big residence at the top of the cliff. Oh, <laughs> 
Have you come to kill me? Fine. Go ahead. Have you come to kill me? Fine. Go ahead. My name's Kyle Crane. The mother's worried about you, Attila. She sent me to check on you. Make sure you're okay. I am most certainly not okay. You can tell her that there will be no book. I've hit a wall. I'm just a dying old man, not Indiana Jones. Dying? Did, did you ask the mother for help? She doesn't have the cure for cancer, I'm afraid. My days of field work are over. The problem is, and I'll quote Hamlet here, Everything is fucked up. Come, sit. Have a drink with me, Mr. Crane. Listen, if it's the field work that's stopping you, just... I can go out and get whatever you need. I don't know what you're researching, but the mother really wants it finished. Hmm. You'll bring me anything I need, you say? Yeah, sure. Just make a list. 
It would certainly help if my electricity were restored. If I'm going to do this, I'll be looking at some very long nights. Well, I can take care of the power, but you're on your own for coffee. Get your electricity back, Attila, and now what? Now we can get to work, Mr. Crane. I'm researching traces of the prophecy about the god of the sun in the relics of local culture. It seems like a matter of life and death to the mother, and I'm in no position to ask why. So, now we have three ancient monoliths to investigate. We're looking for specific features, so you'll need to see them in person and describe each one to me. Now that I have the power back on, 
We can stay in touch while you're out there. But please hurry, Mr. Crane. I won't live forever. I see a monolith, Attila. Describe it, please. There's a painting, looks old. It's got ants moving toward a circle, and one inside the circle has a red head. No, 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 Mr. Crane. Those are not ants. They're meant to represent believers praying to the sun. Whatever. If you say so. The one on the inside is wearing a special ritual mask, if I guess correctly. All right, that is helpful. Please move on.
Okay. Well, those monoliths were supposed to be here. It either evaporated or something pushed it into the water. Until I got a monolith. And? It's underwater, but I can see the remains of a painting. It was like a head, I think. Could it have been a mask? Yeah, maybe. Good work, Mr. Crane. Attila, I found one of those monoliths. What do you see? A big ass stone, that's what. And also an old painting. It's, it's a sun on top of a mountain, a mountain cross with a zigzag. Anything else? Yeah, someone added a mere heart's jasmine on the side. Does that help? All right, Mr. Crane, let's move on. All right, Attila, that's all of them. Now what? You'll have to start climbing, I'm afraid. Head to the highest mountain you can find, to a place known as the Temple of the Sun.
Crane! You remember me? It's Fatim. And Tolga. We're on the deer blind. Uh, can you see us? Attila, I'm at the mountain. What do you see? Just a whole lot of climbing. I did warn you. Not now, Attila. One wrong move and I'm a dead man. But do you see anything? Later, man. Seriously. There's a painting. It's a person with a sun for a head, and there's a woman standing nearby. Very good, Mr. Crane, but that's not what we're looking for. Please keep going. Okay, I'm at the top. It's an awesome view. Let's get to work then, Mr. Crane. There's a painting of a bloody blade on one of the monoliths. Anything else? A mask, perhaps? No, should, should I be looking for a mask? With the utmost diligence, Mr. Crane. This is very important. I found this hole with, I don't know, I guess there are offerings inside it. And there's a mask in here, too. Is it red? If it's red, take it with you. Be careful with it. Yeah, it's red. Should I take anything else? There's a lot of stuff in here. No, no, that should be enough. I think you can come back now, Mr. Crane.
Here's your mask, Attila. I don't know if it's gonna help with anything. Listen, the Mother's obsessed with this prophecy. When the world is ravaged by plague, when darkness devours the Earth, when men are as beasts to one another, when humanity shall be struck by corruption of both flesh and soul, then shall be revealed one man who, through an act of ultimate sacrifice, shall accept the mercy of the Light. And the God of the Sun shall be revealed through him, and through him will he speak. And his voice shall be the light and the healing. And he shall pass through the gates of death, so that he may bring new life. On every remaining painting, the God of the Sun, or a priest attempting to summon him, wears a mask like that one. So, yes, Mr. Crane, I believe you've helped me plenty. You need anything else? Only time, and peace. I have to write everything down. I'll let the Acolytes know that you've helped me. Thank you, Mr. Crane. I'll call you the moment I'm done. Well, see you tomorrow, then. You promise? All right. I'll be waiting for you. Out to you guys? He said he's going to. And he is alright. I helped him with his research. He told me that he has to write everything down now. He said he needs time. Go and find out, please, why he hasn't reached out to us yet. We must be certain that he will finish the task. Alright.
See, Tolga? Told you it was Crane. Are you sure? He looks weird. He always looks weird. Crane, we did it! We flew! But not with the jetpack. But we found a plane instead. Almost in good condition. Had to make a few adjustments to it. And the gasket broke. All the oil leaked out, the engine seized up. We had to jump out. But Mr. Dahl, our boss... Whoosh! He flew all the way to the west. You have to find him, Crane. Well, you two actually care about someone else. Oh, you wound us, Mr. Crane. Also, Mr. Dahl is a billionaire. He'll make us rich. All right. How am I supposed to find him? Simple. Mr. Dahl has a transmitter in his backpack. That's our... Uh, insurance. You know, in case he tried to screw us over. Can't trust anyone, you know. Take that tracking device. The beeping will be faster the closer you are to the transmitter. And when you get back, we'll tune this tracking device so that you'll be able to find other things. Tolga, tell him. Everything that's chipped, Crane. And these days, a lot of things are chipped, aren't they? Military equipment, for example? But first, Mr. Dahl. Go for it, Crane. You can do it. We believe in you. You have to say things like that to people like him, you know. Just a few unlucky people trying to get out of Haran. Did anyone survive? Are they dangerous? Yeah, two survivors, but no, they're just a pair of suicidal mad scientists. More dangerous to themselves than anyone else. Scientists, you say? The mother would like you to keep an eye on them, just in case. I found Dahl's transmitter. See? Hey, Tolga, told you he was going to find him. Pay up! Wait, Crane, is Mr. Dahl all right? It's hard to say. <laughs> he's dead! You know, buddy. I don't know if he's dead, guys. I just found his backpack. No sign of the man himself. Any ideas? We're geniuses. Of course we have ideas. We're prepared. Not that we didn't trust him, man. Another transmitter in one of his shoes. Send the tracking device to your second channel and move on with your investigation.
hell, you're not Vulcan Doll. Was I supposed to be? Where did you get those boots? Hey, he didn't need them anymore. Lay off. Did you kill him? Where is he? Hey, he turned. I killed a monster, not a human. Shit. Where? Shot him straight through the head. No, you idiot. Where is his body? Oh, not far from here. Listen, I can pay you for these boots if they're so important to you. No problem. Just forget it. Guys, I found Dahl. Teen, Tolga, you there? Where'd you go? God damn it. Help! We're surrounded! Oh, scream louder, Fatin. Maybe they'll figure out where. The train's on the bridge! Ah! Go away! Tell them we have portable photon throwers. A photon thrower? That's just a flashlight, Tolga. As if they know what photons are. Bastards! Tolga, cover me! With what? A stick? Get away from that door! Dean, Tolga, it's Crane! Crane! We try to clear this place out. I get them, Crane! I've been in the right place! In his natural environment. What I have done, however it will turn out in the end, will give the mother a better answer to what she's looking for than any research I could have been losing time working on. You see, as a famous ethnographer, I came to Haran on the invitation of the local colonel's wife. The colonel, the mother. These were words spoken around here with utmost respect. Yet for me, after a while, they became just Amir and Jasmine. A happy marriage, if there ever was one. And it was at his request that I stayed behind when all hell broke loose. I was here when he came back to evacuate her. I watched as he got bitten, and when he asked me to stay, I did as he asked. I thought he'd want me to end his suffering. But that wasn't the case. He gave me something that I was supposed to pass to her, only if her state of mind after this tragedy didn't raise my concern. But I never saw her again. I felt rejected. I felt abandoned, and now that I'm about to die, I can't keep the promise. She still won't agree to see me. But you, 
You're different, Kyle. You have a chance to meet her. There is no other option for me. I have to leave what the Colonel gave. Darn, the tape snapped. Cha, you were supposed to repair the cassette player. I have more important things to take care of than cassette player maintenance, Tolga. Well, that's it for the soundtrack. What the fuck have you done? Hey, it's Kyle Crane. I'm at Attila's house. What's Attila's condition, Crane? Speak. He slit his own throat. He put the mask on and killed himself. Mask? What mask? An old red mask I found at the Temple of the Sun. <sighs> that old fool used you, Crane. What? what? How? To find this mask. We know all about it. That wasn't his task, Crane. Attila was deadly sick. There was a cancer eating his brain. He must have become convinced that if he put this mask on and slit his throat, the God of the Sun would manifest and possess his body. But, but why? why? Why would he get that in his head? And he shall pass through the gates of death, so that he may bring new life. Attila interpreted that to mean suicide, an error that cost him his life. Take the mask, and try to find the book Attila was writing for us. Take them to Jasir, and we'll take care of the rest. Jazir, please don't ask any questions. Just hand this stuff to the Acolytes when you have a chance. Okay, it's very imp important to the Mother, I know. They told me already. I'll tell them I have it. Shut up! <laughs> 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 
It's clear you can come out. Now we're in one of these carriages. Don't shoot. Knock three times and we'll let you in. Torka, are you crazy? Don't ask him to do math. It's not the proper knock. Go away. It's me, fuckers. Let him in, fatty. <laughs> what the hell are you guys doing in here? A secret project. Don't talk about it, Fatin. You know people like him just repeat everything they hear? But he might be useful later. Then we'll tell him when he becomes useful. Maybe we should let him stay here. Proximity to us can only raise his intelligence. Now, your generosity is overwhelming, but I believe you promised me something earlier. You're underestimating us, Crane. We did it remotely, just a moment ago. Now this device will react to anything that's cheap. And when something's cheap... Then usually it's pretty valuable. Unless it's your neighbor's dog. Now let's get down to business, Tolga. Time to start the project. We'll be in touch, Crane. Take care.
Omicron virus. Working. Kyle? Is that you? Yes, I'll try to help you. No. Just, just listen. They're following us. One did the cure. Didn't know how to open. So, asked about Mother. I told them nothing. Don't talk. Save your energy. I'll get you out of here. Light house. Light house. Orkin, stay with me. Damn it. It's Crane. The bandits were in the granary. So was Orkin. 
They captured and tortured him. May the God of the Sun accept his soul. Did he tell them anything? I don't know. He said he didn't. He did try to tell me something about the cure. I guess they didn't know how to open it? So some of it remains, even though they spilled a lot at that field. Do you have any idea where they could have gone? Orkin said something about the lighthouse. I'll take a look. Thank you, brother. If you find those vials, give us a sign immediately. You'll take it straight to the mother. Lena, I copy. Go ahead. Kyle, can you hear me? Shit. Lena? Kyle, please, if you can hear me, you have to hurry. I'm about to lose another floor. Lena! Damn it. Fuck, I'm so close. Bandits, where is it, you son of a bitch? Where the hell is the cure? What? You're crazy. Don't fuck with me, Khan. Where is it? Look, I just live here, all right? I don't know shit about working with bandits. Boss, you are here? Hello, can you hear me? Um, who's speaking? said the entrance was in the dam. Uh, please! <laughs> I'm fucking done with you. Oh, shit! Take him! Go! Now! <laughs>
Yeah, burn in hell, assholes. Oh, no. This is Crane. Do you copy? The vials are gone. I saved only the last few of them. And Rise's men are coming to you. Do you hear me? Crane. Come here fast. Come quickly. Hello. Shit. I better hurry. again. What's up? We have a new plan. It's brilliant. We're waiting at the railway tunnel. Near gate in the wall. Come and find us.
Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. Hey, anybody there? Brother? More fighting. More death. I can't let this happen again. I won't. To you. Where are the faceless? What, what's happening to me? Why, why, why do I hear your voice inside my head? Children of the sun, Kyle. They were nothing before the outbreak. Just a half-forgotten tradition. An old world faith long dead. I'm tired. I've held this title for so long now. The Mother. It was meaningless. Until it became all too real. I thought their respect came simply because I was a colonel's wife. We had a good, cozy life. After the outbreak, my husband came to get me out. We didn't stand a chance against the horde. We were bitten. He bled to death in my arms. He gave me his cigarette case and asked me to run. He didn't want to hurt me. I was dragged away by the relievers. They came for their mother. It took me a while to remember that my husband didn't smoke. I looked inside. There was a map, a key, and a note with numbers. It led us here. tried to get the power back on. The rest of us went to look for medicine. The others looked to me. They could have held medicine. They could have held poison. I felt a seizure coming. I was about to turn, and I realized, why else would my husband lead me here? I loved him. I trusted him. I remember a taste. Acrid, bitter as blood. It might have been blood. Surrounded by the remains of the people who had trusted me. It was because of the light. Someone finally turned the power back on. And the light brought me back. You see? <laughs> breathing the fumes is one thing. But drinking the liquid is something else entirely. In the light, in the sun, my mind is my own. I'm filled with love you can possibly imagine. But in the dark, my new nature dominates. Mindless, lethal. In the dark, with cruel passion, I ripped my own children to pieces. But I swore to myself that I would become the mother they really deserve. And now, you have come, Kyle. And every sign tells me you're the one I've been waiting for. It's in the prophecy, Khan. Then shall be revealed one man who through an act of ultimate sacrifice shall accept the mercy of the no. light. And the God of the Sun shall be revealed through him. And through him will he speak. I just need that medicine to save my friends. Look at my face. There is no medicine. You want mankind to become what I am? Listen to my voice. Beautiful evolution indeed. Minds and souls connected in a telepathic bond. How horrible. Look at me. 
And when the darkness comes, what then? More death, more killing? You can hide from others, but who will hide them from you? But we don't, we don't have to drink it! With just the mist! It doesn't matter. Just listen. You've been breathing the mist. It will take longer, but you're already changing into a monster such as myself. No, wait. Listen! The army built a failsafe into their experiment. This entire region can be purified. The question is, are you ready to sacrifice thousands of lives, Kyle? Yours among them? Gosh, are you crazy? I won't play your god of the sun. I want no part in this bullshit. Just let me take the vials and go. Maybe you'll understand when you see it with my eyes. How narcissistic. You, the god of the sun himself. I'll show you who you no. are. No! No! No, goddammit! You fucking monster! I may not be human, but my love for humanity fills me. A love which you defy. And you know that a love rejected turns to anger. An anger you will bear, Kyle Crane. I will make you pay for all those eyes. <laughs>
Friends, and you can rot in hell. Fucking killed you! This is a poison. It's not a poison! It's a cure. <laughs> Lena? Lena, I'm coming back with the medicine. We'll be able to we'll be able to help everyone. Tell Camden that that he has all the time. He has all the time in the world now. No! No, tell him. Tell him we, we have a new lead. We have a better one. Where, where am I? <laughs> <laughs> 